Greetings, fellow Toastmasters, and welcome guests. Thank you for coming here today. We are all here to improve some aspects of our life, as we already heard earlier today. The one great thing about improving your life is that you have control of the situation. When you have control, you have the resources at hand, and when you have the resources, you have the ability to make certain decisions with those type of resources. I want to pose a question to you all here tonight. What if I told you that you were the CEO of a big company? How would you feel about that? Does that make you nervous? Does that make you excited? Or does that put you to sleep? Uh. Now, what if I told you that you were the CEO of a large company, maybe Apple? You've heard of Apple, right? So iPhones, iPods, all sorts of tech gadgets, and we know that Apple has a bunch of money on hand. But would you be prepared to take on the responsibility of the Apple CEO and to be able to make those profits last for the next 10 to 20 years ahead? Ready? Would you be able to do that? No? Okay. I have some good news for you. You're not going to get that job, at least not yet. <laughs> But you do have an important job, and this job is something that we all have. So bear with me here, but some news for you. You are the CEO of your life. How about that? Our life is precious. Our life, we can't put a price on it. Now, there's somebody that we know, his name is Jesus. He died for our lives so we could be here today, and that was one of the sacrifices that we we kind of touched on with people going ahead of us, right? We are the CEOs of our lives. And then with that opportunity, we have some choices that we need to make. We have some decisions that we need to make. So I'm going to propose to you three ideas about being the CEO of your life. The first idea about being the CEO of your life is that you're responsible for growing the income that you have control over and then also being a good steward of that money and keeping your expenses low. So growing the income and keeping your expenses low. The second responsibility of you being the CEO of your life is that you need to take over that leftover money and then invest that wisely. The Bible talks about how we need to be good stewards of the things that are entrusted to us. So in that investment phase, we're going to be looking at some ways to improve the outcome of the company. And then finally, as a CEO of your life, you have the opportunity to fulfill the vision for the company. And this company that we're referring to is called Myself Incorporated. It's, this, is, this is your company. So let's, let's jump in here about how we're going to grow our revenue. We're going to grow revenue by a couple different ways. If you're a hustler, go out, go out and hustle. If you're working a nine to five job, do the nine to five job. If you're a business owner, do what business owners do, which is go get the business and then make it happen. So that's ways that we can grow our revenue for the company, myself incorporated. One thing that I've been fascinated with is publicly traded companies. So every quarter, publicly traded companies report to the shareholders, they report to Wall Street about how well they're doing with the company. So typically, they say, you know what? So Apple Incorporated, right? We're Apple. We brought in $10 billion for this quarter. We did some stuff in the middle. We spent some money. We made some investments. We did some marketing. And then left over now, we have $5 billion left in profit. So that's how these big publicly traded companies, that's how they operate, that's how they run their companies, and that's how they report to the shareholders that have a vested interest in a company like Apple. So what I propose to you as a CEO of Myself Incorporated, we need to act in that same manner. We need to be able to account for the revenue that's coming in to our organization. We need to account for the things that we have to do for the month. And then what's left over, that's us for us, that's for us to keep, hopefully. If we have more month left over and not enough money, that's a problem. We need to fix that. 
But so I would propose to you that with you being the CEO of your own company, you need to make sure that the income stays high and the expenses stay low. Now what we're going to do with that profit, we're going to actually take that money and reinvest that into the business. So what that looks like for us is to reinvest that into ourselves. And I know a great place where you can reinvest that money. It's called Toastmasters. That's just one of the places. I won't go into, into that too much, but Toastmasters is one of the places that you can reinvest those funds. Another place that you can reinvest that money is with audiobooks or just regular written books. You can attend live trainings. You can do all sorts of things to take that money to invest into yourself. And then once you reinvest in yourself, that's going to give you the ability to go back out there and then generate more income for your company. You got it? Good. Okay. So we're responsible for the money coming into our company. We manage it right. We take the profits. We invest into our company. And then finally, what we're going to do, we're going to look for ways to fulfill the vision for our company. So I don't know what your goals are. I, some of you I do, but I don't ultimately know what your goals are. But if you have the goal of maybe being a leader in your company, I want you to write that down on a piece of paper and make that vision plain. And then once you write that down, you have the ability to look at this and say, this is what I need to go after. This is what I'm going to do to fulfill the vision for my company, myself incorporated. Now, there's a cool thing about this vision. We're going to kind of take this back in reverse before I close. We have the vision in front of us. Since we know what the vision is, now we know what investments to make to improve the company. Then since we know what investments to make in the company, now we can take the necessary steps to make sure that the income and the expenses matches with the actions that we want to take, which is ultimately going to fulfill the vision for the company. Sounds like a tough job? It's not. This is kind of easy. So with that being said, I want to thank you for your time. Good luck on your new job. And I hope that this is helpful because you're the CEO of your life. Thank you.